Do you want a second wife or are you gonna get married of again? Of course I do. Are we Sunni or Shia? No. We are. Drum roll, please. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mehdi. And my name is not Mehdi. And together we make Medina TV. In this video, we will be doing another opening up series. We already did the part one and you guys can check it out somewhere on the screen. We're going to be opening about several topics that we haven't discussed on our channel yet. So stay tuned. Buckle up guys, it's going <laughs> to be a ride. Yeah guys, this is going to be a long video. So grab your popcorn, grab your drink or grab any snack and we can get started once you do that. If you've already subscribed to our channel, we love you guys. And if you haven't, please do so. The subscribe button is right down there. It takes one second. Yes. Did you do it yet? You better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting into the video now. When are you going to do a house tour? That's a very good question. This is a question that a lot of you guys have been asking us and we've been really anxious and excited to give you the house tour. The issue for us has been, we've actually been throughout, you know, the COVID pandemic, I'm sure many of you guys, we moved during the pandemic. So our home was getting renovated and then we've had our walls are like full of plaster. So our house is not really in a position to show right now. We're still decorating and once that's done, inshallah, we will give you guys that house tour. But perhaps maybe we can do more behind the scenes of like what our house looks like on Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram yet, please do so there because we may post stories about it. Yeah, we might show you like, like this is what our studio looks like, maybe show it in pieces and then do a whole tour. But in terms of timeline guys, inshallah, probably I would hope within the next month or two, we can give you that house tour because it's just one more final piece of our house that needs to get fixed before we do that. Next question. Are we a perfect couple? Of course oh we are. Oh my God, yes, we're perfect. Of course we are. Picture perfect. We don't don't Textbook ever couple. fight. I, I don't know if there could be a more perfect couple. Like, we're yeah. just definitely too perfect for each other. You guys never see us fighting in the videos, right? That's how we are all the time. No, <laughs> no, it's not. We are a regular average couple. We have disagreements, we have arguments. We try to minimize that, but I mean, it's inevitable. Ah, she's looking at me. If you guys want the safest option, if you're a man, just agree with your wife when there's like, especially on little things or just in general, if you want to make your life easy, just agree with her because that's what can lead to a lot of uh, disagreements and arguments. And he agrees because I'm always right. Okay. You missed that part. Always right. You missed that part because I'm always right. That's the reason why you should agree. Women are always right. End of story. Period. That's yeah. it. I will say though, when we first got married, and I'd say the first year was probably the toughest for us, like that's when probably the most disagreements, arguments happen. But if you guys are a new couple or you're thinking of getting married, but you're kind of worried about this kind of thing, don't worry. You just have to be patient with your partner, have good communication and just have a good dynamic. Just have a good communication dynamic with them. And you guys also have to know that not all couples will have disagreements in the first year. Everyone yeah, is different. Everyone's different. Right? It really depends on how well you mesh or how patient the other person is. So there's a lot of things that go into like being a couple <laughs> it's not just like rainbows and sunshine once you get married why don't we have a baby so many of you guys want to know when's the baby coming why don't you have a baby what's the update on the baby guys we've been keeping it a secret from you the whole time we actually have not one not two but three babies and now we're going to introduce you to all, all our three babies. babies okay guys ready this is baby number one Hazel. Hazel. This is baby number two, Lunar. Lunar. And baby number three, yeah. Sierra. Sierra. <laughs> okay, guys, but in all seriousness, to answer the question, why don't we have a baby? We really don't know why we don't have a baby. Only God knows why we don't have a baby. And do we want to have a baby? Of course yes, we, we do. do. Like, we love babies. It's just that, you know, whatever God wills, and whenever it, uh, whenever it happens, whenever the best time for us is, that's when it's going to happen. And we won't hide it from you guys for too long. <laughs> so, sweetie, yes, did honey. you always want babies? I actually did not always want babies. <laughs> I always wanted to actually get married to someone who didn't want kids. But what I can say to you guys, if you are in a position like me where you didn't want to have kids before, sometimes if you fall in love with someone, you get married to someone, you envision a life with them and a family, that can change. So now, inshallah, I would love to have kids. But we're, we're trying to be patient and when God will. So when you guys ask us when we're having kids, we don't know, but when we do have a kid, we will try to share that news with you. He's uh, more eager to have a baby now than I am. Whenever, <laughs> God, whenever it happens, yeah, I would love to have So one. things change, guys. He's changed a lot over the years. Yee, let's have Yee. a little, let's have a little football team. Stop! <laughs> what do you mean? How many players are there? 
I don't know, like 10. Oh my god, no! Plus, uh, 10 plus. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. What's the update on Garrett's family? Med's yeah, family? I, I was surprised a lot of you guys actually asked about that. If you guys want to know my full Converse story, we actually have a video on that. I wish I could provide you guys with a more exciting update, but basically the situation is I have not heard from my family anytime recently. For those of you guys who are unaware, I converted to Islam in 2018. And it's been, alhamdulillah, almost four years of me being Muslim. But after I converted and I let my family know, they disowned me. They wanted nothing to do with me because growing up, I actually had a strong dislike for Islam because of the environment I was in, what I would hear on the media. It's part of the reason we were inspired to do this channel in the first place. So yeah, I've tried my best over these last three to four years to maintain a relationship with my family, but they've been not supportive of my conversion, of our marriage or anything of that sort. So I hope that changes someday, guys. Please keep my family in your duas that maybe, inshallah, that their hearts can soften towards our relationship towards Islam. Hopefully that would be awesome. But for now, I'm just being very patient with the situation. If you guys are watching this video, we still love and care for you. And hopefully maybe one day we can all get along. It's sad how people think that just because you become Muslim, you're, you're a changed person. Completely different person. Or that you've been brainwashed into some weird cultish belief which can happen to some people and it's very unfortunate that it does. We always, always will advocate for positivity yes. and open-mindedness. We always do that because as Muslims, we're supposed to show the best character and by showing the best character, we're supposed to not force anything upon anyone. And if you guys watch our videos, you'll know that you will never ever be pushed to come to Islam when you're watching our videos. Next question. Okay, guys, this one is something we get so much. So much. Oh my God. Okay. Are we Sunni or Shia? Oh my God. All okay. the time. This question is like the biggest question that we get. And we just wanted this video to clarify certain things about the whole sect thing. Okay, let's clarify it today. We are, drum roll please. <laughs> Muslim! Okay, yeah, so guys, <laughs> when we talk about sex, right, Sunni or Shia, we're not just talking about Sunni or Shia. You guys have to understand that Sunnis have sex within like Sunni Islam as well. There's like subsects <laughs> under Sunni yeah. Islam and then there are subsects under Shia Islam. So even if we did say like we're either Sunni or Shia, like then we'd have to go into like more detail, like what type of Sunni are you or what type of Shia are you? Yeah. Right? It just, it won't end kind of thing. So we've decided that we are going to consider ourselves Muslim. We are going to be the people that, you know, follow what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did and what he taught us and what the Quran says. Those yes. are the two things that we definitely follow. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't call his Ummah Sunni or Shia. He called his Ummah Muslim, right? Yeah. So that's what we like to label ourselves as because we just don't want that kind of division. And we're ultimately trying to promote positivity and unity on our channel. Yeah, we love that unity, guys. We want Muslims to be united every time we have people talking, right? We always want to say we respect every single Muslim. And that's how it should be. Muslims should be united, not divided. And like, you know, labeling ourselves, I just feel is going to divide us in yeah. the comment section. Because then people are going to be like, oh, but these people are this. So why are you talking? Kind of thing, right? And we, I, I've actually seen that happening in people's comment sections. So I don't want that in our comment section. One thing that I noticed, I was a Christian before. And one thing I noticed was like, you'd have Catholics, Orthodox, Protestants. And while there have been disagreements, of course, in the past, I noticed a lot of them, even now you can say you're one of those and people to get along but one thing what i've noticed with muslims is if you say you're sunni or shia people really take that very very seriously compared very to like seriously. the christian denominations that's one thing it's not islam that promotes that it's muslim people that i hope will change that in the future because if we change that then there's going to be more unity like you're saying i don't think prophets would go around saying i'm sunni or shia because of how much division that would cause so hopefully guys we just want to promote positivity and unity next question and for some reason my husband gets this question a lot which is really confusing and odd to me but do you want a second wife or are you going to get married of again of course i do not <laughs> no no i've answered guys i need to redeem myself because i answered this question kind of poorly in our last opening up video and mm -hmm. it was like it was not explained well so i apologize for that 
But the clear cut answer, guys, I definitely do not want to have a second wife. A lot of people ask that question. It's not something I ever grew up with, something that I wanted. I'm more than happy and love my wife and I do not want to share that love with anyone else. Also, there is, <laughs> what? <laughs> I love you, honey. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with having second wife. People think it's just like, oh, this guy can have four wives. He's gonna be living it up. It's not like that. If you do not treat them equally in all aspects of whether it's financially with love, how you like every possible way, you are accountable for getting sins for that as well. So it's not the like woohoo type of uh, belief that people think it is. It's really not. We're gonna have a short video um, explaining the whole four wives system and why that even exists in Islam. So watch out for that as well. Yes. But to just be very honest with you guys, I don't think my husband has any intentions of getting married to his second wife. Second, third, fourth, is that? <laughs> yeah, guys, honestly, <laughs> you're right, honey. And the thing is though, I love you, honey. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. But one thing that you guys should just to clarify here is that most Muslim men do not have multiple wives. Just to be clear, a lot of you guys are like, oh, they probably have like three, four wives. Most of them have just one. Which is so funny to me because that's like something that Muslim men get so much. Like, so when is the second wife coming? Yeah. So why aren't you like married to four wives yet? It's like, do you even know any Muslim men? Like, how many Muslim men do you know that have this kind of system? Because I don't know any that have four wives. There, there are definitely out there, but I just don't yeah. know any myself. I, I know, know any. some that have two wives, but that's as far as it goes. Like, I, yeah. I don't know anyone that has four wives, and I'm sure it exists. But it's not just in Islam that it exists. I've seen people having, like, four partners, even if they're not Muslim. You don't have yeah. to be Muslim to, like, have that kind of relationship. In Islam, we have the permission to get four wives for men, but only under certain conditions. It's not something that should be mocked or made light of. Like, it, it does exist in our religion for a reason, and yeah. our rules do not change in the religion, so it's something that will exist throughout time, that whether it's 1,400 years ago or now, there's a reason why it's still there, that we can do that, but it's not for every man, and I don't think every man should be asked, when are you having a second, third, fourth wife? Because, like, most of us are just gonna say, we're, we're yeah. not looking for that, we don't want that. So funny how you guys ask that. Hilarious. What is the first thing you found attractive about me? <laughs> <laughs> Laughing because there's nothing. <laughs> okay, so I never found any guy attractive. Okay, whether it's you, whether it's any other guy in the world. I just never found faces attractive. You get me? I get you. So the first thing <laughs> I found really attractive about you was like within your personality. I think it was uh, the fact that you were just very persistent. I hated it. I hated the persistence, yeah. but I also liked it. It's weird. <laughs> I had this love-hate relationship with the persistence you had. He was so persistent, guys. You have no idea. Like, I, I think the reason we're married right now is because of how persistent he was. Just to clarify what the persistence was, she was a Muslim woman, so she had to keep a distance from me, but I was a Christian man, and I didn't understand that concept of distance. So, like, I would continue messaging her because we were working together, and I'd just, like, just talk to her as, like, a buddy, as a friend. And she's kind of like, why are you talking to me? But I was confused. I didn't understand the boundaries, so. I tried telling him the boundaries. Just I, I just kind of didn't care He never at the understood time. the boundary. Sounds and like whatever. then we got stuck <laughs> in like the same classes over and over again too. It was so weird. Yeah. Like, why do I keep getting into the same class as this guy? He's so annoying. I love brought us together <laughs> somehow. And then I was a veiled woman too. So he, it was easily recognizable. Like I was easily recognizable if I was in class. He'd know that, oh, I'm also in this class. So I couldn't really hide that fact from him either. Either. Yeah, it was just really annoying. I used to try to sit beside her and she'd point to another seat go sit over there I yeah. was like how rude is that but I didn't realize that she was <laughs> supposed to sit beside men at the time I think one thing that I really like about our relationship is my attraction to you My first attraction was be you as well as a person it was it was just your kindness towards other people Yeah, there's a lot of people are all about themselves me 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 It's like they don't care about others She would always put others before herself when we were working together. She would like help me to the point where her grade would suffer so mine would do well and she did that with other people as well she was always so giving to others that's yeah. something that really attracted me to her i admired that about you i think i do that a little too much <laughs> sometimes a little too much but it's a good quality it's at my expense basically it's it's a rare quality and i think that's one thing i appreciate about our relationship it was built off 
of admiration of each other's personalities. Yes, we work together. You guys are like, how do you guys like each other if you didn't date? We work together for four years with no intention of dating. It just naturally happened. You work with someone for four years. Feelings can develop over time, yeah. even if you're not anticipating or wanting that to happen. But our love is not about looks. Looks are important in a relationship. It's just not the way our relationship progressed. Yeah, exactly. So now you know. Next question. So this is the last question as well. If we were no longer together, would you remain Muslim? No. I would not convert out of Islam. <laughs> I was trying to do a double negative there. <laughs> my intention with becoming Muslim was for my relationship with God. I've always been very, very spiritual, even if I wasn't as religious as a Christian. I didn't really know how to practice my religion in a way that would bring me close to God as a Christian the way that Islam has allowed me to do. So I've always cared a lot about God. I've never gone through a phase of being like an atheist or agnostic even. It's just, it's always been, I believe strongly in God. I wanna be close to God. I would pray like, is to be close to God. I just didn't know how. And that's what led me to become Muslim. People think that Mubina was this figure who basically brainwashed me, like you said, into being Muslim and like had such a strong, she had an influence in terms of her character, the way that she acted. I really admired that. That's what led me to want to research Islam on my own, but my research and everything I did was on my own. We were not living together. So that's a misconception a lot of people have of our relationship is how much influence she had, but she was always there to answer my question. She did play a strong role, but not as strong as people think in terms of like, brainwashing me into it i have my own yeah. brain and ability to do my own research myself guys it, i just wonder like if i could brainwash wouldn't i have like more people that are muslim by now i don't know why i would just have like yeah. one person who's why like it just my me? husband it's just one person i've never made anyone muslim i don't even like talk about islam with my friends unless they ask me questions about it so i don't understand this whole concept of brainwashing <laughs> yeah ultimately you guys you should convert because you love the religion you believe in the faith you've researched it like i applied the teachings of islam i would pray eat halal food i would learn about zakah i fasted before i became muslim i did the things that muslims do and that, that's what led me to feel right i didn't just research it and be like okay i just want to get married to you let's go do it i actually put the work in and i would suggest you guys do that too because your intention will be more sincere more genuine and i feel like that will help you transition at, in your life as a muslim great answer your great answer what <laughs> <laughs> what ow that being said this brings us to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this one mm -hmm. i thought it was very interesting this video yeah so i think you will you guys will find Inshallah, it interesting too <laughs> like it. and if you guys liked it please hit the like button because that helps us a lot if you guys have not subscribed already, please do so. It's right there, like literally. Right there, smash it, guys. <laughs> and if you guys have already subscribed, we love you. Until next time, assalamualaikum.